I'm Ansley Cole. I'm out at the Germain Robin Aging Cellar, and what I'm talking about today is the uh, DSPCA 162 Vodka uh, uh, release. We just bottled this about two weeks ago, and it is um, cranberry. And um, I, we shot a bunch of videos earlier when we had various stages in which we were putting this together. This took almost two years, and the original concept came from the fact we're working with um, some of Clear Creek's um, cranberry liqueur in, um, um, in the, the St. Nick Fluid Dynamics product, that's Jermaine Robin Brandy and, and uh, Clear Creek um, Cranberry Liqueur. And, uh, at a, you know, every di craft distiller in the world, as far as I can tell, spend about 80% of their spare time fooling with product. I mean, it's just, you know, they have this insatiable curiosity and sort of like creative bent, otherwise they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. And so Devin Kane was fooling around with that cranberry liqueur and came up with the idea of, of doing a vodka out of it. And while he was sort of experimenting with that, it came to him to try putting a little cranberry into the uh, citron vodka, standard citron vodka, the uh, Budahan citron vodka from the DSPCA 162. And man, everybody knew it right away. He ran around showing it to everybody. And So that's what this is, uh, DSPCA 162 citron vodka with an added infusion of the fruit comes out of Oregon. There's a picture on our website of a guy standing in a pond full of those, these beautiful berries. And uh, we prepare a maceration with them and then infuse it into the vodka. And this is an extremely well-made vodka. Tastes like cranberries and then this subtle hint of in the background of the citron vodka to sort of like sharpen it up a little bit. Beautifully made.